Uh, Drew Landry's up next, and he says, what is your relationship with Eric Bischoff nowadays? Uh, fine. I don't, I don't see him anywhere. Very seldom at some of the signings, you know, in the past, but I think he's probably got his hands full of the podcast. Apparently he does yeah. a lot, a lot of stuff out there, right? He's very, very active. He is. He's, he's very active. Does a lot with the podcast, a lot for ad free shows. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's times where you see each other, maybe at some signings here and there, but it's like you always say, Arn, in the wrestling business, that's probably the only places you get to catch up with your old buddies. Yeah. I mean, very few guys, I think, go home from the road, no matter if you've only been on the road two days or three days, or you've been out for however many and get on the phone with the other wrestlers, you know, when you see them and run into them at these things, you, you know, a 10 minute conversation goes a long way. You yeah. know, if you hadn't seen somebody in a while, I always enjoy seeing a lot of the guys at these, you know, signings and stuff, the comic cons. It's uh, Ron Simmons is always awesome to see. Ted DiBiase, awesome to see. Rotundo, uh, you know, you know, and uh, a lot of guys from my era, that's where you see them. See Barry, see Tully at, at some of them, you know, it's uh, JJ occasionally who I really love. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Have you gotten to see Mike Rotundo since, since Bray has passed? It was a hard one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just saw something about him and it just, as soon as you said, Mike Rotunda made me think about it. He's a strong man. Um, Cause that, that's a terror, you know, it's a, we're part of a group that nobody wants to be a part that's of. Exactly right, man. Mm. It's the worst club you can belong to on earth. It really is. And, uh, but you can be there for each other like not many others, you know, not a whole lot can be, which is also kind of a little bit. You can find some encouragement or, or at least be able to share some words with each other. Well, here, here's what kind of turned out. We said to each other, you know, it's it's like with Barrett passed, you know, he got a hold of me. He said, I just I don't I'm don't, sorry I don't have the words. And when I saw him in person it's like it's like mike i don't know what to say I, I would give anything to know what to say to help your pain because i know i know and he knew yeah, i know yes you know and you share that uh i'm i'm so sorry you know for your loss and yeah it almost mm. that almost seems mundane to say but you just what do you say to somebody that's had a You're connected life? forever, though, because of, of your experience, honestly, emotionally in that way, right? So, uh, but yeah, Absolutely. no. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot of love goes out to their family at this well, time. Cl cliche. Cliche is, I know how you feel. Some right. people say that in passing. But when you really mean it, and they know that you do know how they feel, it, it has a different feel to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. 